Enter your name, pilot. Hey, welcome to another edition of Play Something Old School, TIE Fighter. Today we're going to work up through the TIE Interceptor training missions. And, um, yeah, starting with the maze and going through uh, the four training missions. So, without further ado, let's rock and roll. Welcome to the squint. Still no shields. But you go faster than a TIE fighter. So very much suffers from the same problem as the X-Wing in terms of... Uh, Having trouble hitting things sometimes because the lasers are on the, so the wingtips. Works okay in uh, the maze as long as you remember which laser you're firing. But in terms of uh, outside of this, generally want to do it like that. And of course, and of course, uh, quad link against German targets. Unlike the X-Wing, which fires la which uh, dual linked fires lasers uh, from uh, opposite pairs, which I mean upper right, lower left, that kind of thing. Um, the Tie Fighter fires top and then bottom. There's a uh, quad shot just for demonstration purposes right there. Go back to single link training here. Again, you can see if you uh, watch my TIE Fighter run, um, I'm missing a lot more shots here. And that is largely just a consequence of laser and firing isn't necessarily in the right spot sometimes. mitigate that by dual linking, but uh, there's other reasons not to do that. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Charging my lasers. Watch this thing at shields. A 
for now it's just a matter of rolling through. Even with the misses, it's still, I think, more efficient in terms of conserving power so that you're uh, going at max speed more. I believe it's still more efficient to uh, single miss. Kind of keep going through here. Difficulties start ramping up. Barricade wall. It's two clips. Given the uh, lasers are not necessarily that harmonized, uh, I want to focus on uh, the red wobby things uh, over the triangles.
So in the TIE Fighter, I made it to level 11. Which is definitely a solid run. Let's see how far I get in the squint here. training sim because as much as it's kind of repetitive it does give you a nice general feel for each craft. Also the, yeah, this version is way prettier than the, the original. See where I'm missing shots there. Which is something I almost never did in TIE Fighter. point you gotta focus more in the last section just making sure you get through both sets of rotating obstacles. Even with a few uh, less target hits, still doing better on time than I was in the fighter at this stage, and that's largely just due to uh, Squint's higher speed.
Tricky. Tricky. Fifteen seconds to go. Cannot make a mistake at this point, or it will be a game over. Alright, it's level 10. I'd like to at least get as far as I did in the TIE Fighter. What else would be mildly embarrassing. Charging weapons, that could be a problem. Under 15 seconds, start getting that Instagram. Ten. So close to 11. I actually made it slightly farther in the TIE Fighter than I did in the Interceptor. Alright, on to the training missions. You will use short-range sensors to inspect a variety of craft at a customs checkpoint. For the sensors to be effective, you must fly your craft as close as 100 meters, 0 0.10 in the combat multi-view display. Throughout the mission, you will be instructed in the use of your threat display and in-flight map. You will receive further instructions in flight. Follow your orders precisely. Enter the simulation now. You this mission will teach you how to use your short-range sensors, threat display, and in-flight map. You will fly TIE Interceptor Gamma-1. It is a faster and more powerful development of the basic TIE fighter. Armament consists of four wingtip-mounted lasers. Like its predecessor, it does not have shields. Speed and maneuverability are its chief means of defense. There will be no opposition at first. You are merely inspecting neutral vessels at a customs checkpoint. If you elect to continue the mission, you will discover illicit cargo. You will then face Lambda-class shuttles operated by smugglers. Still later, you must defend against a raid by a small rebel force. This mission will teach you how to use your short... Off we go then. Gamma 1, your sensors show a number of craft are in the area. The brighter the sensor dot, the closer the craft is to you. Alright, so the goals are inspect the nomadic, inspect a bunch of other stuff, freighter, inspect shuttle group Yagmar, kill some B wings. Toggle the in flight map to check the overall situation by hitting the M key. Target the craft called the nomadic, a Karelian transport. Use the Z key to toggle your threat display on and off. Watch as the Nomanic flies through its flight path.
notice as it comes to a stop within your sensor's range. Gonna get jump on it. There's a cargo of spikes this as stuff. manifest plate. So it may go. The other craft can be inspected faster if you fly to them. Thro same one. Same as one of them. Yagmar hasn't shown up yet. Okay. Up to the Elorak. I love the Star Tours shout out there. Good work, Gamma 1. Primary mission objectives completed. Okay, Gamma 1. You've shown you're competent for inspection work. You may quit now or continue if you wish to learn more. Right, there's the Sneeda group. There's the Yagmar group. Greater Sunida and Shuttle Yagmar, you have entered Imperial space. Gamma 1, check out the new arrivals. Start with the freighters. Sneeda's over there. He's over there. Yagmar's almost the same distance, so we'll actually... Just an inspection goal for them. We'll inspect them first before we uh, hit the freighters. because they got destroyed, like, real fast. Two. And Gamma there's one has detected illicit narcotics aboard freighter Sunida-1. Alright, so now Sunida-1 has to be captured. Take out the freighter Sunida's shields. Epsilon-2 will capture. Shields. There's another one of those nice things about having a percentage there, you know when you're going to off fire. Friendly transport there should uh, now be able to gauge and uh, knock out disable Sunita. Target disabled. It is excellent. So now to fend for the capture, wait for the enemy B-wings to show up. Commence capture operation. Just need to uh, hurry. Transport. Capture operation complete. Second. 
Preliminary Wait. mission objectives completed. Very good, Gamma One. You've helped stop a smuggling operation. The captured freighter will be taken to an Imperial Navy yard. Just waiting for the B wings. Back up again. Just kind of fly and loops until till the B wings show up. Go, tally ho, bandits! One, red two. As long as you don't go head on, it should be uh, more than a match for a pair of B wings. Slash wing, wing, cockpit. Oh. There's no good reason to target anything other than just straight up hull on enemy fighters, though. It's not going for a good ship. He didn't want to play either. Snow. more trouble, but they're far enough out. Got this B Wing raid, and that'll be the, the other bonus mission. Bonus objective. Just gotta get there first. Speed-wise, the squint is a little bit slower than the A-wing, but uh, faster than anything else the Rebels have. Again, just like when playing X-wing, uh, better to use uh, your recharge rate to uh, slow down before you start actually slowing up, but on TIE Fighters and uh, Squints, um, it's a little bit harder, because 
all you have is uh, all you have is your laser ray. Pointing out uh, the uh, spacing on interceptor lasers is a little bit tighter than the spacing on X wing lasers. So you do tend to get a few more hits than you would in. An to ensure that you at least get paid and it's still definitely the best one. Excellent hunting, Gamma 1. Superb work, Gamma 1. Secret so mission the objectives one. completed. Alright. Well, that is primary, secondary, and bonus objectives complete. So, that's one mission done. You have demonstrated the ability to inspect unknown craft to determine the contents of their cargo bays. Mission 2. A critical rebel supply depot will be attacked in order to draw a rebel cruiser into an ambush. Frigate Implacable will attack with four TIE squadrons, two of bombers and two of interceptors. TIE interceptor groups Gamma and Eta will clear any fighter defenses, while TIE bomber groups Beta and Delta attack the platform. The Mon Calamari light cruiser Ardent will arrive about the time the platform is destroyed. After finishing with the platform, the bombers will attack the cruiser with the interceptors covering. The Ardent will launch X-Wings and Y-Wings. The rebel fighters must be prevented from attacking. Be alert to the arrival of additional enemy forces. Be sure to intercept any threats to the implacable. A critical rebel supply depot. Your objective is to lure a rebel cruiser into an ambush. Simple. You will fly a TIE interceptor designated Gamma 2. You will be a wingman in a three-ship flight group. The platform is well armed with defensive lasers. There are a number of Z-95 headhunters and a system patrol craft for local area defense. The rebel cruiser is a medium-sized starship of significant combat power. It can launch up to one full squadron of X-Wing and or Y-Wing starfighters. All right. S simple enough. Let's get to it. Begin the attack. TIE Interceptor Gamma, engage Rebel fighters. All right, so goals. Kill the headhunters, destroy the platform, destroy the system control craft. Secondary objectives. Kill the cruiser, kill all the Y-wings and X-wings. Bonus goals. Enoch is remarkably difficult to destroy. So that actually, if you want to hit the bonus goals, that's the first thing you got to go after. Which is what I'm doing. Interceptor Eta. Intercept system patrol craft Durban. Remember, no prisoners. 
Sky interceptor gamma, there's a Corellian transport trying to escape. Seems like get a shot. It is possible to kill that thing, just very, very difficult. That's why it's bonus objective. Alright. Moving on to the headhunters. In stuff like Headhunters, uh, the match speed button is definitely a friend. Um, also because... Uh, much It's true in X-Wing as well, you just don't see it as much. Uh, the enemy craft will slow up. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. As they take system damage. The uh, thing is, you don't see it as much in X-Wing because most of the stuff you're fighting are ties that don't have shields. Yes, this is going to be a very familiar review. Shoes on the other foot because you're the one with your shields. Okay, all the headhunters down. So let's lock the implacable into memory just in case. Distress containers. Not when I don't care about the containers. Platform. This is where fix. This is where targeting individual parts comes in. So where you want to quad linking. Target destroyed. Well, Excellent to work. Gamma two. Primary objectives completed. The rebels took the bait. Bombers, your target is light cruiser Ardent. Very good, tie interceptor Gamma two. You've done well. You may return to the hangar or continue at your discretion. Frigate Implacable is taking enemy fire. Giant interceptor Gamma, take out those X wings. Hey. So now we're going to go X Wing hunting. Do that, we'll worry about the Y Wings. an invasive if I uh, get too close to target. X 
swings. Rebels have entered the area. Watch out for those A wings. A wings are a bonus goal. So I'm not gonna worry about those. X-Wings and Y-Wings taken care of. Let's fire rockets at the cruiser. A wings one. Yeah. Target destroyed. Excellent work, Gamma Two. Secondary objectives complete. Congratulations on destroying so many enemy fighters. You're going to build a fine reputation. A wings, you're going to want a quad link because until they get damaged, they're generally more maneuverable. Faster and more maneuverable than we are. So, you want to be able to hit those with everything you've got. Basically, you're not going to get a lot of shots against them, so make sure that the ones you get count. got away as well. Anyway, that's all the goals we're going to be able to successfully accomplish. Got the primaries and secondaries. So, this is Delta one. call it a successful destroyed. mission. This is Beta 1. Target destroyed. Since we're so close, we'll just go ahead and go into the hangar. So, yeah, not a bad performance. It'll be bronze interceptor dying. The other thing is bonus objectives don't have any effect on your medallion. So, or just are you a badass? Guess I'm not that much of one. You have taken part in a major operation to strike a rebel base and lure a capital ship to its doom.
equipment. Time for mission three. Ah, the worst job in the fleet. Minefield clearing in an unshielded craft. Imperial probes have located a cluster of space containers protected by a minefield. You will fly ahead of us in a TIE interceptor and destroy all the mines in this minefield. Once the mines are cleared, an Imperial transport will board the containers and take any usable cargo. After the transports retrieve the cargo, TIE Bomber Group Beta will finish off the containers. Imperial probes have located a cluster. The objective here is to destroy all of the mines that are protecting the space containers. This requires frequent maneuvering and pinpoint laser firing accuracy. Use quad fire for a bigger hit pattern. You will fly a TIE interceptor designated Alpha-1. In this mission, you will be without wingmen. Your craft will have no warheads. No Rebel spacecraft have been seen in this sector. The mines are the only form of defense for the containers. Because mines are a much bigger threat against unshielded fighters. Your mission performance is being carefully watched, Alpha-1. All right. Destroy all the mines. Bonus goal, container something must be boarded. I'll have to identify it first. All right. Good news is, unlike X-Wing, mines now show up on your threat display. So, mines are now target nearest threat. That okay. target's near it. Th target nearest threat now works for mines, which makes life a lot easier. But again, you don't have shields, so you have to move a lot more. Basically, line up a shot. Avoid being hit by turning off. Take a shot. Move. Move a lot. This is not the first. This is not the last time that you will be clearing lines in the Primary mission fighter. objectives completed. Good work. All the mines have been destroyed. Now we can identify the containers. But which one's going to get boarded? Four must be boarded. So we'll go ahead and save the bombers some time and knock out Coast 1 through 3 while we're waiting for Coast 4 to get boarded. Four. Transport signal. This actually is an excellent time to point out that one of the other new features from actually is not is 
there's trouble. But if I were just sitting around waiting... TIE Fighter finally added a time compression Alpha feature. Boarding operation begun. So for those times when you're just waiting for something... You can now hit time compression Boarding and wait complete. Yes. Excellent work, Alpha One. Secret objectives completed. Yeah. Oops. You know what? Sim mission got the primary, got the bonus, so we'll call it good. Just ugly. I wanted to end that mission. You have learned to use the speed and maneuverability of the TIE Interceptor to weave through a dangerous situation and destroy a minefield. You show great promise. All right. Last mission of the day. Scepter Mission 4. The TIE Interceptor flight groups are to destroy all Rebel craft protecting the cargo containers. The TIE Bomber flight groups are responsible for destroying all the Rebel cargo containers. The TIE Interceptor flight groups are to destroy, attack and destroy a Rebel space depot. Direct attack against the Starfighters and leave the containers for the TIE bombers. You will fly a TIE Interceptor designated Alpha-1, the flight leader in a three-ship flight group. Your craft will not have any warheads. Y-wings and shuttles are your main adversaries. The tugs are scrambling to ferry the Starfighter pilots to their craft. All right. Let's get to it. Goals for this. Destroy the shuttles, destroy the transports, destroy tugs, destroy Y-wings. Secondary goals, destroy containers. Bonus goal, destroy another container. All right. So, clear out anything that can shoot back and then worry about containers. There are some rebel starfighters here. Get them first. The tugs are delivering pilots to the rebel ships. It's got a live system as a primary target. Don't worry about the containers. The TIE bombers will get them. Radio message received. Using your target for attack. So I'm actually going to go max throttle here and knock out as many tugs as I can before they can dock. Y-wing operational. Not started up yet. Take him out before he can get going. Anything else? The operational systems. Good shooting, Alpha One. Target destroyed. The transports have been destroyed. Oh. 
strike that. That has lasers. That's the uh, green light upper center of my head. Target right now. destroyed. Superb work, Alpha One. Secondary mission objectives complete. Target destroyed. Excellent work, Alpha One. Secret mission objectives complete. The Emperor will be pleased. Fine flying, Alpha One. The rebels have paid dearly. We've taught them a lesson they will not soon forget. All the containers have been destroyed. The Y wings have been destroyed. Target destroyed. This is Alpha Two. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Superb work, Alpha One. Primary mission objectives complete. The shuttles have been destroyed. Good work. Our combined attack has succeeded. Turn to the frigate lightning. That was over in three and a half minutes. That's what I call Imperial Efficiency. Yep. Alright. You have successfully destroyed a rebel outpost. Excellent work. The rebel forces in this sector have suffered a large setback. Um, there we go. It's weird. Mouse cursor disappeared for a minute. All right, and if we go up to metals now, see we have the TIE Interceptor Training Certificate and the TIE Interceptor Gold Combat Medallion to go with the TIE Fighter Medallion. So that's our show for today. Thanks for watching. Next weekend, uh, we'll get back to this with uh, the uh, bomber and uh, tune in every night around 9 30 9 45 for uh, mech warrior misadventures thanks for watching and until next time keep your six clear good night everybody